I'm Antonio Grisefo, Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are at, what's the name of this place? <laughs> City, City, Square, City Square Shooting Gallery. City Square Shooting Gallery, and I got my friend Eugene Wong with me. He's the urban combat instructor. Eugene, today you taught us a little bit of what exactly? Uh, knife, stick, fighting, parang, and firearm disarming. Okay, and that is all the warm-up, and then later we're going to be going over and doing the combat shooting. But uh, Eugene's showing us, it, it was interesting, something he said before. He said that in Malaysia, because people can't really buy guns and own guns, own guns, it's actually a little more realistic to learn how to use a knife. Knife, yes, that's right, because this is readily available. Everybody can get hold of knife, can get hold of uh, machete or parang. Which is interesting, because in the States we always say, well, it's good to learn the knife, but you know, at the end of the day, everyone's got a gun. and. That's yeah. the States. Yeah. <laughs> it's cultural combat. <laughs> okay, we turn around, grab, lift under his armpit, and then we just throw him. The reality, the problem is they take too long yeah, yeah, yeah. to disarm. It takes four or five moves yeah. before you disarm the guy. In a real life situation, four or five moves, if I'm the gun holder of the gun, I would I will wrestle back from you sure, and sure. I will shoot you back. And there's four other guys. With that's right. Around. So that's why when in any proper gun disarm, actually you should be able to disarm the guy in the blink of an eye. <sighs> Do that again. You know, in the blink of an eye, you must be able to disarm the guy in the blink of an eye and then you're, you're finished. And then you can go for the second guy, the third guy or whatever guy. Yeah. There's no point you do techniques like, for example, okay, I do this, I go down the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I go down. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then after that, I wrestle with him and then, yeah, yeah. This. And meantime, in night, all the fellas that are waiting at, how you finish with the disarm or not? We want to shoot you now. <laughs> you can't, it's too, you know? It, it, it looks good on camera, big but that's going to get you killed outside. Actually, one reason I don't know disarming is that this is when I'm making movies, this is where I cut and my stunt double comes in and does it. <laughs> so actually, he'd be better at this than... Ah, oh, you, you do one on me. Okay, I'll be a terrorist. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Show me karate, man. Yeah, okay. So, for example, go to the bottom. So, go for off. You know, and so forth and so forth. You know, these are the other close quarter fight environment. So you have, you see, there are two types of criminals out there. Those who are really trained, that means yeah. they know how to use a firearm, terrorists are trained, so they will, their fingers will, chances are, be, will not be inside. Yep. And then you get the untrained people who just, oh, you know, and they will put their, their, these are the, these are the most carrier people because anytime you discharge the gun, you see. So for this type of people, because they are so careless and they are so unsafe, so I normally would yep. discharge at them. I normally would discharge the round. Off so the gun, the gun's gonna go off when you do yeah. that. Yeah. So he shoots himself. Pam. Then you just pull the pull the gun towards his face, so that his trigger is actually discharging right on his own face. Ah. Okay. Let me show you. This is I learned this one from a Chinese master. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I'm making the gun go down, I'm controlling it. I have to cheat. No, actually, I'm not afraid, I have a tattoo, I'm not going to show it to you, but it's a protection tattoo. Shoot not, me. Nothing, will go nothing, through. nothing. Look at this, this gun didn't hurt me, watch. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing, this gun, nothing. He's got a gun, I don't have a gun. And I'm not even afraid of him. <laughs> In the hostage situation, right, so you're the hostage, right, so you start blubbering and crying, ah, so that they don't expect you're going to be the guy who's going to and defend himself, but the most important thing is tell everybody you know in advance, if I'm ever in a hostage situation, I'm going to blubber and cry and maybe even mess my pants just to get the drop on the hostage shakers. That way, if you ever get taken hostage and you blubber and cry and mess your pants, they think you're just following your plan. Okay, we're talking about what to do if, if you're a hostage and the bad guys, they're marching you out somewhere, they're going to kill you. Now, as Eugene pointed out, the most important thing is that I have to close the distance, right? I can't be, I can't be all the way over here. Ha! Right? He's going to kill me. So the guys are saying, how can you close the distance? Like maybe, you know, you kind of look and you see he's, he's too far back, right? So you could try a psychological approach. Hey, come on. Yeah. Try the psychological, come on, hurry up. Yes, come on. Okay, you could try that. The other one is, and, and I've, I've done this, and I can't say where or when, but I've done this. I start crying. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Ah, ah. <laughs> 
always a bit, or, or you can fall. You go, 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 You know, just fall down and cry. Just, just, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, Bob. Then, I'll be at Lock, lock, then attack again, I'll be. Yeah. Ah, don't, don't, don't hold the stick. Try to hold the truth by hand. Don't block with your hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, because the similar thing. It's not boxing. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That he attacks you. That's right. You attack. Okay. <laughs> I'm Tony Grisefo, and that's it for this episode of Martial Arts Odyssey. Ah! As always, at the end of every episode of Martial Arts Odyssey, ah! I tell you, oh, this is Eugene Wong. What are you doing here? <laughs> trying to kill somebody anyway. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, anyway, at the end of every episode of Martial Arts Odyssey, I tell you, get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work, and please, say a prayer to the people of Burma. One, two, one, two, three, four.